Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, Sam Mowers here, back with another episode of Crypto Corner. For news today, the market has taken a tumble in the last 24 hours. DBS Bank has partnered with the government of Singapore to launch a blockchain trading platform. Hive has transitioned its GPUs to BlockBase, and a U.S. commissioner has endorsed the FedNow central bank payments system. So the crypto market took a tumble overnight, dropping from a peak total market cap yesterday of $250 billion, roughly, to a present market cap of $237 billion, according to data from CoinMarketCap. Consequently, most of the top 100 cryptocurrencies listed by market cap are in the red today. Bitcoin lost about 5% of its trading price in the last 24 hours, going from around $9,200 to a present trading price of $8,780. Singapore-based banking and finance giant DBS Bank, which is traded on the SGX under the ticker symbol MU7, has partnered with the government of Singapore along with commodity trading firm Trafigura Group to launch a blockchain trading platform. That's according to a report from Coindesk. The platform, which is called ICC Trade Flow, will be open source and will connect partners from different countries, reducing end-to-end document transit time from 45 days to just 20. An excerpt from the Coindesk report reads, quote, The partners plan to add more enhancements to the platform as more countries join the new trade finance system. According to the release, the participants claim they can build a more trusted relationship between counterparties, adding more background information such as credit ratings on trade participants, vessels, and couriers. End quote. Hive Blockchain Technologies Limited, which is traded on the TSXV under the ticker symbol HIVE or Hive, has completed the transition of its GPU chips in Sweden to BlockBase Group from Genesis Mining. That's in line with its strategic partnership with BlockBase, signed back in August. Frank Holmes, Hive's interim executive chairman, explained, quote, We have successfully taken full control of our Ethereum mining operations in Sweden with no significant shutdown of our equipment or facility. We have seen improvements in the efficiency and performance of our Swedish facility by leveraging BlockBase's newer software. Additionally, We have identified opportunities to reduce our mining energy costs, the most significant portion of site operating costs, by entering into direct agreements with local electricity suppliers. As we have previously noted, we expect this new operational structure in Sweden to result in more efficient operations, a lower cost structure, and greater flexibility in our operations. End quote. And Rohit Chopra, a commissioner at the United States Federal Trade Commission, has endorsed the Federal Reserve's development of a new round-the-clock real-time payment system called FedNow Service. That's according to a letter addressed to the Federal Reserve's Board of Governors yesterday. Chopra considers the project a natural extension of the Federal Reserve's existing role in check-clearing, wire transfers, and the automated clearinghouse system, and warns that a private megabank monopoly over our electronics payment system will suppress innovation and distort incentives in our markets. Chopra also includes a criticism of Facebook's Libra cryptocurrency project in the letter. Facebook, by the way, is traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol FB. Chopra says, quote, under the auspices of making payments faster and cheaper, Facebook has announced plans to launch Libra, a new private currency and payment system. The vague and scant details on the tech platform's proposed shadow global central bank have sounded international alarm bells, particularly in light of Facebook's ongoing scandals and reputation for abuse. A laundry list of risks raised by the Libra project will take time to unpack and address. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. 
And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music.